We were watching a few scattered showers and thunderstorms earlier this afternoon. You can see the snapshot out at Denver International Airport. The curtains of rain coming down. Wow, wasn't that spectacular? A couple of drops on the camera lens. That really was about it. We didn't pick up much moisture because these storms have been so fast moving. Out there this evening, just picturesque with the bright blue skies and of course that sun beginning to set here within the next hour. Looking out there toward Julesburg. Incoming, here comes that next storm. The camera already kind of shaking out there with some strong winds. This afternoon, temperatures held in the upper 80s, low 90s for the metro area, but a bit cooler off to the northeastern corner. Cooler up in the high country with 60s and low 70s out there. As far as our record for today, 98 degrees. Last set back in 2009 and only two hundreds is what we picked up out at DIA. We have been watching a few scattered showers and storms up into the high country. They're continuing to push in and will remain throughout the rest of this evening. So more water on the way up to the northeastern plains. We're tracking severe cells. This one pushing out 60 mile per hour wind gust as well as quarter size hail. You can see this area in blue. That's going to be the hail core. Unfortunately, right there around I-76. Not an ideal day to be driving out there. The severe thunderstorm warning will continue until 645, but this cluster of storms will continue to move off to the north and to the east. Looking ahead toward this evening, I think the storm's pretty much done for us here in Denver. We'll be looking at partly cloudy skies and temps falling into the upper 50s, lower 60s for the metro area, 40s, 50s up to the mountains. By about 11 o'clock, we're dry here in the city, but a couple of lingering showers up to the foothills. Overnight, we clear out, but we will be waking up to partly cloudy skies here in town. The clouds once again push back in after a little sliver of sunshine midday followed by another round of storms, just like what we saw today. Five, six o'clock, they'll rumble right on through, prime time, dinner time, and then they'll zip on out of here, making way for a fairly pleasant evening. You'll notice this evening, six, seven o'clock, we're watching those storms off to the northeast. By 11 p.m., a couple of lingering showers up in the mountains with more rain rolling in toward the San Juans. They just can't get enough down there. By seven o'clock tomorrow morning, it's quiet here in town and truly across the entire state. 2 p.m., a little lull before we get these storms fired up again. Five, six o'clock, here they go. And then by 11 o'clock tomorrow night, I-76 and I-80 will be that bullseye for trouble I'm keeping a close eye on. We do have a marginal threat for seeing severe storms, but again, they'll be few and far between. 92 will be our daytime high, so just a little warmer. Tomorrow up there in northern Colorado, triple digit heat in southeastern Colorado with 60s and 70s up through the mountains and into the foothills, slightly cooler on Sunday with a better chance of storms. We dry out and warm up by the middle of next week.